like a test that I fail so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this shit. Tell me that I can't and I won't. That's what guides me the most. You lies, I'll do what I want. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to yeah. the Time. This time when you want to ease your I'm not doing introduction today. It's okay. So you get some more of my face. Oh yeah. And guess what? On the show today, <laughs> there's a special actually okay. See why it's behind the camera. She's saying hello to you. Hi guys. You'll see her face later. So we are going to be having a mocktail drink. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it. So let's Let's, Let's go. Do this. So these are red-headed mixologists. It's a hair for me. This is actually a hair. She tinted. See this lady. She tinted her hair. This is color gold, and this what color is this? Red. Red-headed. I don't know. <laughs> but it fits as well. Very like nice, it, right? Red lizard. I'm pretty. Red lizard headed. <laughs> Mom said, "Wait, can you imagine?" <laughs> so we're going to be doing virgin colander. Okay. So there's actually virgin colander and there's pina colander. So the major difference is in pina colander there is alcohol, okay. the rum. Then virgin colander there's no alcohol. That's why it's called virgin colander is mocktail and pina colander is cocktail because okay. pina colander has alcohol. Oh. So the way you virgin call it, colander it, does not have alcohol. It doesn't have alcohol well because it's virgin. Yes, I understand. That's virgin. Okay. So as I was saying, first she interrupted behind the camera. <laughs> Go back and disgrace yourself on a date. I repeat, <laughs> order for mocktail if you don't drink alcohol. Okay, okay. Anything drink, cocktail is alcohol. Anything cocktail oh, has alcohol. Wow. Mocktail is. So actually, let me give you guys small juice. I hope this video is not going to be long. Yeah, so yeah. I saw it on a friend's status that she was like, you know, like for instance, as people go on a date, they go order for cocktail. The time is behaving. They be like, ah, cocktail, I is fine. <laughs> Try and learn some names because. There are different types of cocktail and mocktails. I don't know if you cocktail and mocktail, so you're not going to disgrace okay. your ancestors. <laughs> so, let's go right into the video. So, we are currently in the kitchen, as you can see all the medemenda in the kitchen right now. But so, we are going to be having all of this in the kitchen. Your number one ingredient is okay. this. Blender. The blender. blender. Okay. Actually, you can have virgin colander as blended or if you don't want it to be blended you can as well do that but we are doing the blended one i mean blended heist like you have to blend heist that's right so we have our ingredients here we have the heist okay. then our spoon to just pick the heist we have the heist we have our glass cup that's right then we have the yeah. pina colandia mix this is dailies there are different types of brands but then i prefer dailies though then you have your pineapple fruit drink, then the orange fruit drink. Actually, you can use any of the two. Okay. So whatever you prefer. Then we have our coconut milk. Actually, very important too. Sorry, guys. If you hear background noise, it's mommy's interruption. This is. That's okay. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> so this is condensed milk. Okay. Sweetened condensed milk. That's fine. So if you want to use pineapple, whatever your favorite food drink is pineapple or orange juice and if you are like what be like me you can try to add the two together so these are measuring um, cup this is not meant to be the measuring cup but as a tea then we are going earlier. to be pouring this here yeah. so the first thing we have to do is we have our highs right into the blender if you are using blender that you are using to do pepper, Biko, <laughs> rinse it with um, hot water. Hmm. Rinse it to, so you're not be tasting pepper in your in your cocktail. Oh, in your, in your mocktail. This is mocktail. Okay. Are you part of the people that we are advising not to disgrace their it's family? Cool. <laughs> I'm okay. So we are putting our ice right into the blender. Okay. Do we have to break the ice? Yeah, to just make it easier. Okay, for the blender to do. So it do. Sure. Yeah. Nice. But guys, one more thing is because this is homemade. This is actually homemade mocktail. On the norms, we are we are supposed to use the normal ice cube. Like there's this ice cube okay. that they sell in so, Fuku, okay, yes, yes, in I the malls like that. Yeah. 
it comes in ice cubes yeah in cubes so you can just like put about 10 as much as cubes. you want to do okay, it depends on what you want to make okay so let's have our daily spin mix. Okay, mix so i want to have three of this then again, can we know the size of like the size of you know people we are dealing, we are presently making for six people? Because mm -hmm. we are making for more people. Let's add more of this. Okay. Let's add more. So that's four, four of that. So it's meant to be this ounce. There's this measuring, but we don't have it here, so we are just making it. So it's meant to be like maybe three ounces. So Otiwa is going to like put up a picture. So here is our coconut milk. Like I said, because this is homemade, we are still we are meant to have like coconut syrup inside this. Mm -hmm. But let's just improvise and just also use coconut, coconut milk to just cover up. So my coconut milk is coming out because I didn't really open it much. Okay, so we use like three of that. Yes, okay. we have our condensed milk, which is my favorite because this thing is so sweet very milky look at that so thick so the, the condensed milk is as desired so this is the mix is this all we are, we are not done i'm about to add my pineapple drink okay as long as it's a pineapple fruit drink that's fine so i'm just adding two to it because the pineapple and mix has its own ingredient at um it has the pineapple so we are going to be blending mix now so let's go so guys make sure you use original blender because <laughs> so it doesn't yeah because i mean it's blending ice ice cubes right yeah and you know how ice cubes can be can be very hard so i'm still getting some particles of the ice cube so that's why i want to blend some more Now let me tell you guys how you are going to know that your blending is enough. Okay. When the body of your blender starts sweating, you know, okay. when it starts sweating, okay, can you feel it? Ice. Yep. So we are cool. So I'm going to pour it out. We still have some particles. Oops. Can you see? It's so. It's actually. Slushy, that's the word. Slushy. Yes, it's a slushy. Slushy. Like it's not look at it. You can scoop it okay. with a spoon. Like spoon. Yes. It must not be too um it must not be too thick and it must not be too yeah, exactly. It must not be too watery, especially that watery because it's blended ice. Oh, so you can scoop it with a spoon. Okay. So that's just and the basic it. thing about it so look at it so slush slush and creamy mm. yummy and the smell is so you guys i'm not even going to lie like it's not because she's my sister or anything like this is amazing like so refreshing mm. you can as well garnish it with pineapple i mean real pineapple you can do your garnishing anything you want to put wow no, you can take it with straw mm. and it's very creamy trust me it's, it's really like, nice i mean it's something you can try you guys you can just try it's very it. simple just the basic ingredients and the sweet thing is with below ten thousand five thousand you can come up with something just everybody has blender so thank your you eyes. thank you so much so thank you our mixologist we are going to see you again apparently i hope this video is not going to be too long <laughs> you guys i hope this video is not going to be too long but no um we are supposed to do like maybe um four in one um type of um is it all mocktail right because there's no alcohol some, some cocktails to lead our okay maybe later okay that's fine okay so because the don't previous have, one we don't have people that drink alcohol in this house. in this house so <laughs> but we can but then, we'll do even, sorry we'll do for you. you okay even the cocktails yeah we have cocktails that won't 
really get you high, like get you drunk. Yeah, just a little bit. Just of, a, a little, little bit, bit of, of alcohol. You know, I mean, like okay. such we have in cakes, right? So mm-hmm. okay, that's fine. So we would do, do, do like one cocktail, and then the three others are mocktails and mixologists doing what she knows how to do. Mixologists in the building. Say hi. Shaker. 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 S-H-A-K-E-R. Mm-hmm. So what are we preparing now? Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. Yes, it's a, co- um, a mocktail because it doesn't have a call. That's mock true. as a mock. Mock, so, like, mock like, exam. Mocking somebody. So it's just like mocking cocktail. You get it? So I had two of that. This is Blue Coraco. So the product is um, spot. There are other products too. I used to add lemon juice or the original lemon. Okay. So as desired, you can add as much as you want. But this is going to show that if you add so much. So this is orange fruit drink. As much as you want. Whatever is your favorite though, you can add as much as you want. This is the major thing that brings out the taste of the Lagoon. Mm-hmm. is the major thing. We are almost done. So I added this, the Blue Coraco syrup, the orange fruit drink. It's not much to use this exact one. There are other ones that are better than this one. And the lemon drink. We still have the Sprite though, but I'm going to add it later. So, you have your mixture in the shaker, you are going to shake it. I had an ice to the shaker, so I'm going to shake, 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 until it brings out sweat. So, sweat? Yes, like the body. Oh wow. Okay. Ice. Yes. Shake, 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 shake. Add your ice. I'm going to add your ice to the cup, to the cup, straight into the cup. So this is where we need a sprite. If you don't have sprite, you can use uh, what's this other one that has my team? Team. Yeah. Cause it has lemon and lime flavor. Okay. So that's what I use as a topping. Show you. See. You don't add water, it's so you can decide to add pineapple juice. Um. One just adding cup. a bit though. It may not be up to much. Okay. Just a bit. This one is orange juice. Why this one is pineapple juice? So for the garnishing, you can decide to use cucumber. The, you can use anything to garnish though. As long as it's fruit. So you're just going to cut it this way. Cut it a bit. So you there you and go. also you can add a bit into it. You can also add this. Garnish and do. There are no limits. You can use anything. You can also use apple to garnish. This one you are doing is called garnish. Yeah. So you can add a bit into. I wonder if you have this one. This is so interesting. Alright, guys, so we're going to see you in the next recipe, okay? Bye, guys, for now. So, this time we are making Chapman, right? Mm-hmm. This is Fanta, we put it for Danish. Yeah, shape. okay. So, the cucumber. right, lemon. And what did you call this one? This is Agostura bitters. Angostura bitters. Angostura. Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters. Angostura bitters. Okay, then, I'm going to put it on the screen. Then grenadine. Okay, and grenadine. Okay, yeah. Yep. Grenadine syrup. Yeah. That's called grenadine syrup. Okay, let's do this.
changes the color. For Chapman, you don't really have measurements, but just to like give you a guideline of what you need, so you don't have too much of add too much of something. Okay. These are just the major ingredients. Okay. There is no particular time you have to put Sprite or put Fanta. You can put it at any time. Okay. Ice. So I'm going to add the ice into the cup, right into the cup. Another cup, actually. Yeah, another cup. Okay, an empty cup. And another way is you could have just put the ice in the cup from the start and just then add add, add, um, add, add the milk. So this is the Angostura bitters. This one doesn't have any measurements, but if you take a close look at this, it comes out in weight. Yes, so you can just add two or three. If you have a mixer or a stirrer, you can just use it to just stir it around a bit. But since we don't have, this is homemade, we'll just use our spoon. So. Then for our garnishing. So for your garnishing, I'm using orange, we can use lime. So as it is now, you can actually add it into the drink. You can also add it the other way. And you just cut it a bit here and just put it at the side. Then you can have jumba. I rinse it first though, I've rinsed it already, that's why I'm just doing it like that. So you cut it not too big. This is actually... So you cut it a bit and just use it to know. And we are done. Yay! Let's do actually, you can garnish it with whatever you want. It's chap man. And another thing is, another thing is, you can actually add fruit inside the chap man. You can add pineapple fruits you can just chop it a bit inside the drink or whatever you are going to be putting inside the chapman is going to add its own taste to the chapman but trust me it's going to be a nice taste as long as you're not adding something bitter whatever fruit you want you can put apple you can use apple to garnish it you can just design it and be creative anyhow you want to do it but because this is homemade yes and we didn't really plan much yes. so you can do anyhow you want to thank you so much Miss Tupper, Miss Timmy Tupper, aka the daughter, aka the mixologist, aka the Syria entrepreneur. Thank you. Take a bow. <laughs> I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run some race, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave, had to find a way to change, had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream, I beat my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But Success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself down I don't wanna... Okay, I'll show you spot that here okay. let myself down, myself down Oops, 
Cream de la cream. So I'm gonna see this pop corners. I think that's what it's called. On um, YouTubers, the scene and stuff. I'm going to be trying it for the first time now. Hopefully, I'm going to have a good experience. So, this time around, we are making sex on the beach this night. As for this night, <laughs> we are making sex on the beach. We are going to use apple for the garnishing. The garnishing, exactly. So, this. So, we couldn't get a lot of products. Yeah, we are going seen. to be improvising. But she'll be telling you the normal products to use. Yeah. And then, what we improvise with. You're supposed to use pineapple juice, but you can also use this one. There are two things you have to do. There's going to be a mixture in the cup, and then there's going to be another mixture in the shaker. So, in the shaker, you had just some ice, just a little bit. Then we have our vodka. Actually, we are meant to use um, normal vodka. This is chocolate vodka because we couldn't get a lot of things like we said. We are meant to use vodka gin if you, if you can get gin and because you don't really like a call in this house that's how we, we can just use one but they know they are meant to use like three spirits vodka gin and one other thing we're going to be adding this into the shaker okay just a bit as much as you want though this is for a lot of persons right that's why it's that much no no it's just for like maybe two people oh that's the measurement for two people it is not the measurement for two people but it's as much as you can take a oh, okay. That one is fine. On the nuns, we can use as much as three of this or four or five or six. Okay. So you are going to be adding the English. You need a cup to dilute it. Okay. To dilute the, the alcohol. alcohol. This one has to be more. Okay. If you don't want much alcohol. So you put the ice, then in the cup you have your grenadine. So normally for the grenadine here, yeah, you are supposed to add a little bit of cranberry to it to dilute the taste of the grenadine because the grenadine presently is very sweet. But we all know that cranberry is not that sweet, so it always dilutes the grenadine. So what was in the shaker now? We are going to so because we don't have cranberry now, it's fine. We can use it this way. Mm. Right. So you shake it. You shake until you see sweat on the body. And also, it's optional if you want to add um, lemon juice. You can add a bit if you want. Okay. Like I said, it's optional. So when you shake it, you get this foamy part. Okay. Then this is where the trick is. Sex on the beach always looks like it's two colors, but let me show you why. Okay. Can you bring this up here? So the, the mixture here, you pour it on the, ice. Oh, on the ice. Yes, let's add more ice. So you pour it on the ice. You don't just pour it non-talently. Okay. You pour it directly on the ice so it can separate the color. Oh, wow. okay. So can you show them how it's separating the colors already? Can you oh, see? Wow not mixing together wow. so this is it there we go Our sex on the beach is ready so for the garnishing you can use anything but i want to use apple just make a tiny space so you can stand like that wait so we are doing wow yes. <laughs> very fast you add that's true, you can design it however you want to. And you just put it right into it. Wow. So this is our sex on the beach looks. But if you had used um pineapple juice, the color would have been really different and obvious, like obviously separated. So the cafe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let me try it. I don't want to be where I am. I want something more. Take a chance. It could be possibly my last dance. My last dance. It's really nice. I think I took it too much. But it's nice. Thank you. I don't want to let myself. Oh, yeah, the yep. previous one we did is mocktail. 
um, the name is it um, Pina Colanda? No, no, that's Blue Lagoon. Okay, that's Blue Lagoon. I'm sure yes. you must have seen the video maybe before this or whichever way. I might just add put all the four drinks oh, drinks, drinks in okay. one video so whichever way but you are going to see all of it like i'm really loving this experience and i'm really glad i came home this time as in it's it's i, I mean i mean i go to restaurants i mean you must have seen some of all my videos restaurants review i i see their menus they put virgin colanda pina colanda you know even um what's it called um strawberry dakori i mean all of these names you know if you're not in the line it will look so strange to you but i i'm so excited about this experience she tried it she i mean she's a mixologist right you know my sister is industrial she's she's a jack of all trade and master of you know every single one so she's she's really done well so i'm going to um allow my mom have a taste of this and let, let me know what she also thinks as well i'm less there was she in mind Oh yeah, do. Okay. Yeah, that's me. I taste it. Look at mommy. So mm. mommy's tasting our mocktail, the mm. virgin colander. So mommy, what do you think? Mm -hmm. So delicious and refreshing. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. really delicious nice. Delicious and refreshing. Mm. Guys, did really you nice. hear that? <laughs> <laughs> It is the shape of the mutter for me. 